Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna be starting on a fall reset This is a video that I've only done once on this channel before I did a summer reset back in June And now that it's September and fall is upon us I thought it would be the perfect time to make a fall reset video And so you might be wondering what is a fall reset? Like what does that even mean? It's gonna kick off with me and my sister. We went out to home goods We went to TJ Maxx and all of the little stores and we got some new Halloween decorations and then my sister went all out and decorated the apartment. So we're gonna do that first. I'm also gonna be setting some goals for the fall for myself. Just some things that I would like to get done. We're gonna do some content planning for my YouTube channel and for my Patreon. I also did get a new bookshelf and a new reading chair in the office that I'm gonna show you a little tour of. And I'm also gonna be letting you know about some of my favorite things from the past season, whether that's movies, TV shows, music, even like food or drinks, just like anything that I've been really Really enjoying lately, which I think is a fun thing to do to just kind of like recap the season. I will be putting timestamps down below if there's any portion of this, you know, video that you're a little bit more interested in. So you can feel free to jump around if you would like to, but without any further ado, let's jump into the Halloween shopping and the Halloween decorating. Let's go! We just got home from going to Home Goods, and we went to TJ Maxx, mm -hmm. and we went to Target, mm -hmm. and we've got some things that I thought I would show you. I got a few things. Rachel got a lot of things. It's kind of embarrassing. No, no, it's great. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is one Don't of the judge. pillows that I got. Oh my god, can you believe it? It is so soft. This was from Home Goods. It's cute. There's one little sparkly um, skeleton, and then the rest are all white. Oh my god, how cute is this? Yeah. I'm obsessed. Um, I ended up getting four different candles. So I ended up getting Autumn Moon. This one smells so freaking good. I don't even know how to explain to you what this smells like. And then I ended up getting this one called Mold Cider. Um, I really love getting more like apple or like cider smelling ones in the fall. And then I got this one. This one says Whispering Rouge. Whispering Rouge, I think. This one just smells so good and it's a freaking wood wick. So like I had to, you know? And then this little one. Is so cool. Look at that wheel of death. It's warm and spicy. This one's really small compared to the other ones, but I love it. And then look at how cool the top of this lid. It's like when you spin it, it looks like it's fucking like hypnotizing you. I don't even understand, but I love it. Is it not so cute? It's so small. I feel like this one would be a good one for the bookshelf because it's so tiny. And then um, while at TJ Maxx, I got this huge blanket um because bl these blankets were only 17 bucks. I feel like that's not too bad. And it's so cute, is it not? It's got the like. I don't know, like little like Ouija board, like letters and like the eye and it just looks so, um, I don't know, it has like moons on it and skeletons. I just love, 
I love, love, love this. And I feel like this will go really good on my bed. I kind of just wanted to have this as like a throw blanket that goes on top of my comforter because you know, it'll actually get cold here in the fall. So I can use this. I also did get a bunch of other like clothes and stuff that I needed for my Japan trip. So half of my haul from TJ Maxx is like clothes and stuff like that and different shirts and shorts and things like that. So that is pretty much my haul from the day. But then as you can see over here, Rachel did kind of go all out, which is just amazing. She got this beautiful ghosty pillow that is actually so soft. I don't know if you can, I mean, you obviously can't feel how soft this is, but I mean, it looks like one of those pillows that would be kind of scratchy, but it's actually so soft and like plushy. And then she got this one. <gasps> Oh, I love like the white pillows with the, you know, with the black skulls on it. I think it looks so cool. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the skulls are kind of like glittery or like they appear like they're kind of glittery. So I love, love that. Um, she also got this one. I think this one was from Target. Um, this is like a green Hello Fall. Like how cute is that? And then um, she got these that are like kitchen towels. And these ones are also like really freaking soft. Like usually kitchen towels like this, I find that they're so like scratchy and annoying, but these two in particular are just very, very soft. Um, and then she got these. These are like, you know, for taking food out of the oven. <laughs> so cute with the little bats. And then she got this cute little boo mug it has ghosts on it. And it's very large. Um, it's a very big mug. It's amazing. And then over here, she got this candle that says Witch's Potion. And this one also smells freaking amazing. And it's also a wood wick. Like, oh my gosh, I love a wood wick candle. And then look at this. It's the cutest little soap dispenser. The little ghost. I'm obsessed. She got this bowl that's like, there's little ghosties on there. I don't know if you can tell here. If I hold it like that, you can see it better. But there's little ghosts. Like how cute. And then they're on the outside of it too. And this one is the cutest little like LED light. It's so cute. You can turn it on on the bottom. And then I think all of these light up. And I am obsessed with this one. It is so cute. This would be perfect for like a desk or, you know, in front of the TV. I don't really know. But that one's just so cute. And then she also got a ton of candles. I really love this one that has all the bats on it. And then she got a pumpkin soy latte one. She got this one that's falling leaves. This one also smells incredible. It's this fresh cypress and sage. This one, oh, it smells so good. And then she got a giant sweet apple, which again, I love the apple ones in the fall. And then this really cute maple pumpkin with the little leaves on it. I love the extra decoration. Rachel also ended up getting this as well, which is like a really cozy, um, like fall looking plaid kind of blanket and it goes perfectly with this other orange one that our mom just gave us this one like a few weeks ago So it goes perfectly kind of with this one. They kind of like match each other and this one is so Unbelievably soft like I can't even believe how soft this one is. Are you obsessed tank? Do you love it? Do you love it? Okay, so we have well Rachel really has uh, decorated the apartment, look at this. Look at these cute little ghosty towels. Look at this little corner over here, how cute. We've got these fall colored like leaves. I don't know what this, what is it's this? Eucalyptus, it's but it's like fall colors. Eucalyptus, but with fall colors. And then I also, I found my um some of my old book sleeves that had like the bats, you know, from Rachel Hope. So, so excited that I'm gonna use these this fall. And then, Oh yeah, Rachel wanted to show you her mugs. My mug <gasps> station. Her mug station. We got warm and cozy. We have a plaid like flannel one. This one I just got. Boo. Oh, yes. She cute. She got the summer ween on there. My mom got me this one. Ooh. Cute. Yes. Okay, so check out this cute little corner over here. Sorry, the lighting is kind of odd. But look at how cute. We have this beautiful plaid on this chair. And then we have this cute little green Hello Fall pillow. I feel like this all fits perfectly over here. I also love this little pumpkin. I feel like it just really brings it all together. And then we come right over here and you can see, oh, okay, so over here we put this little ghosty pillow moment with the white pillow. I love how this looks. And then over here on this side, we've got these little skulls with this white pillow and we got another plaid. So I feel like it really like ties the room together to have two. And then over here, you have the cute little Frenchie pillow with this pillow right behind. I really love how that looks as well. And these are some of our like spooky blankets too. Then, oh my gosh, look at this little corner. We have the little 
light up pumpkins next to this beautiful little orange pumpkin and then we have our normal uh thing that we usually have over here for decoration but then it's so cute because we switched out um some of the books so that they look more like halloween kind of vibes and colors you know on both sides so we have uh seven husbands because it's green i feel like the green just really like ties in with the rest of the room and then we have these down here and these on this side i just love this book on display right here i think with the whole orange and black thing happening it's just really speaking to my soul. And then we also have this little table down here, a little coffee table. And check out this side. Oh my God, how cute is this? Rachel has this little like bat thing that goes right in the vase like that. It's so freaking cute. And then we have the falling leaves candle right here with this cute little pumpkin that kind of matches the color of it. Like I'm obsessed. And then over here on this right side, I brought down some of my like spooky books so that they would look nice together. I mean, I know Addie LaRue just has the uh, black and gold spine here, but then we have the imaginary friend and then pet cemetery books all right next to each other. And then I put my little uh, cider candle right here because I feel like it really, uh, ties it together with the like black and the white and then rachel also put her little ghost bowl with some candy that we just had sitting around in the apartment and i think it looks so cute and then can't forget um back here we have this iconic little glow up um pumpkin decoration i love this one this is like one of my favorite decorations that we have Okay, so I thought now would be a good time for me to discuss some of my goals going forward in the fall time. One of my biggest goals that I have for myself is to save money when it comes to food and groceries and eating habits and things. And that's where today's video sponsor comes in because Thrive Market is sponsoring today's video. And if you haven't heard of Thrive Market, I think you need to hear about Thrive Market if you also are trying to save money on groceries. Because Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store and they're on a mission to make health healthy living, easy and affordable for everyone. As a Thrive Market member, you're gonna save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. What's really nice about Thrive Market is that if you find the same product at a cheaper price somewhere else, they will match the price and give you the best price possible. You will also make back your $60 membership in savings, but if you don't, then Thrive Market will credit you the difference, which I also think is something really cool that they do. Something that I also think is really cool about Thrive Market is not only the fact that they have a lot of food products and there's so much availability with what they have but they also have a lot of skincare products they have a lot of cleaning products as well pretty much anything that you would need on your typical grocery run is available through thrive market i'm not a huge fan of grocery shopping because i think it can be so time consuming and just really take up your whole day and that's why i think it's so efficient to shop through thrive market because it's very user friendly you know because you can filter their catalog of products based on your diet based on your lifestyle based off different brands that you're looking for it's very user friendly. New products are always being added as well from some of your favorite brands and there might be some things that you might not even be able to find at your local grocery store. Like for example, I always struggle to find this in the grocery store and it's one of my favorite things. It's the pumpkin seed granola with the flax. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this stuff and I'm so glad that Thrive Market has it because my grocery store oftentimes will not have this. I also love stocking up on the white rice packets from them because we go through white rice so quickly in this house. They also have me and my sister's favorite brand of the rolled oats. These are so good. I'm also really excited to try. They had these little churro strips and I am a sucker for anything with churro. And I also had to stack up on some of the cleaning products and then they had this lotion that looks like it's gonna be really nice. I just love that they have so much variety and they have everything that I need. So definitely be sure to click the link down below to join Thrive Market today and to save 30% off your first order plus get a free gift that's worth up to $60. That sounds like an amazing deal to me. So thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring sponsoring today's video and now let's get on to my other goals. My second goal for myself this fall is going to be to start taking morning walks more often, especially in like the neighborhood that I live in. I feel like our neighborhood here, it's such a beautiful neighborhood to take walks in and usually I'm more of the kind of person that likes to take afternoon walks, but I think in the fall time especially as the air starts to get a little bit more crispy in the mornings and it's actually kind of nice and not so hot out, I would love to start taking some walks in the morning just to be like active first thing in the the day. I think that would be a great routine for me to start. So I really want to start doing that in the fall, especially once the weather drops, because it's still quite a bit warm in Washington right now in September, you know, but as soon as it hits that October morning air, oof, 
I want to be out in it, you know? I want to be out in the world. Another goal that I have is that I would like to get more into salads this fall and back into soups. I really went through an obsession last fall for like the first time ever in my life. I got really obsessed with soups and I was like wanting to try all these different soups. And so I just kind of want to not only get back into, you know, being really into soup again in the fall because the fall is the perfect time, you know, because it's all cold outside and you just want something warm. But I also do want to try to get more into salads because I've always been the kind of person that's like, I really just love a good like Caesar salad or like there's been a few salads here and there that I've liked, but I've never really like dabbled, dabbled in salads before. But now I'm getting more confident in like, I want to like learn how to make salads that I would actually like. I want to get into trying more different dressings and like really getting into salads. I don't know if that's like a weird goal to have, but I would just like to experiment more with salads, try new things, try things that I don't know if I would like just to see if I would like it and all that kind of fun stuff. I think it'll be really fun. And then another goal that I have for myself is to get back into learning Korean. I actually did, starting like last October, I started learning Korean on Duolingo and I was doing Duolingo like every single day until about May or June this year. I actually hit my like day 200, I think, of my streak before I decided to give up because I feel like Duolingo just wasn't doing a very good job of like teaching me Korean. I just felt like I was more confused and like I was teaching myself more than anything. And so I decided like if I'm seriously gonna start learning Korean, which I really do want to do, I wanna learn Korean for a number of different reasons, but I just think it would be really cool to actually try and like put an effort into learning another language and Korean just feels like the right thing for me right now, you know, because of, not only because of my K-pop obsession, but also my K-drama obsession. And I'm just getting really invested in a lot of things in Korean culture. And I also, you know, after my Japan trip, I've gotten even more of like the travel bug in me. And now I'm like imagining trips to South Korea in the future. So if I actually want to go to South Korea, I actually want to put in an effort and maybe try to learn some Korean. And so now that I'm serious about it, um, I did have this little like journal before that I was using for my learning Korean. And this was just for me like writing down my vowels and like practicing. I like having an actual journal where I can be writing down what I'm learning every day because then I feel like it helps it stick in my brain a little bit better. But I also ended up going and getting these uh, two workbooks. So I have Talk To Me In Korean level one and then this is the Talk To Me In Korean workbook level one and I think they go hand in hand. I do have another friend in real life who's also interested in learning Korean. And so she's also gonna be learning alongside me. So I'll have a study buddy, which will be a huge help I think in learning Korean. And she was t letting me know that these two are the books that you want to start with. And we're also like not only going to be, you know, using just these workbooks, but we're also going to be, you know, watching a lot of YouTube videos. There's actually so many YouTube videos online and so many different apps that also help you with language learning besides Duolingo. Like I feel like Duolingo is actually like not that great when it comes to actually learning a language. I feel like it's more beneficial for people who are trying to get better at a language that they already kind of understand. Because with Duolingo, I was more lost than anything. Like it really wasn't teaching me anything, but I do have a few other apps now that I'm gonna be using to learn Korean, as well as like a bunch of YouTube videos. There are so many helpful people on YouTube that teach Korean, especially to English speakers. And so I'm gonna be going all in this fall, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited to put forth a real effort in wanting to learn a new language. And I don't really have any like intense goals for myself as far as like how advanced do I want to be within a certain amount of time. I don't really know. I'm just going to take it day by day. Those are most of the goals that I have for myself. I know last time I talked about a lot how some of my goals were related to content creation and how I want to be like another full step ahead of myself. And so these next clips that you're going to see are some of my content planning for the month of September. And these clips were filmed back in August. But this is typically what a day of content planning and getting posts ready for my Patreon kind of looks like. So I grab my little whiteboard off of the side of the wall there by my desk and then I erase all of the previous month's plans. Um, I don't know why, I just like having this whiteboard as like a visual because I do have a lot of different, you know, digital calendars and things like that, but I do like having the visual right next to my desk, just kind of seeing what my month is gonna look like at a glance. And on this calendar, I'm usually writing different things like Patreon plans, you know, like I'm writing different reading sprints that I have and movie nights planned and different things like that. 
And then this is me getting the post ready for my Patreon. I like to post on the first day of the month, I kind of post a layout of the plans for the month so everyone knows what to expect from me that month. I am so grateful to everyone on my Patreon. Like everyone on my Patreon just makes my day all the time. Like they're so amazing. And this is also uh, something that I do is I make a playlist of music every month. So this is me just kind of like getting the playlist ready. I make a playlist on Spotify and then I put a link and then I also post like all the songs down below so that anybody that doesn't use Spotify can still see what songs are on the playlist. Hello, welcome to my office. In my office, um, I've been looking for quite some time because I've been wanting to get another bookshelf for in here and another chair. If you do recall, right when we moved into this apartment, I did end up moving one of the bookshelves from my room. I had it in the office and then we did have the like white little couch chair that we now have downstairs. We originally had it up here, but we decided that we needed more, you know, seats downstairs for when we have like company over and stuff. So we ended up moving that one downstairs. And so ever since I've been like looking for a good replacement. And then recently my mom, you know, she did have this bookshelf and this chair in one of the rooms at the house that she was like, you know what, I'm just not really using this and I feel like you might be able to use this even more. And so my mom was so kind enough to offer me the extra bookshelf and the extra little chair that she has. And so now they've found a home in the office and it's very exciting because I've been wanting something like this for a long time. Ever since we moved out, I haven't really had the time to go through some of the books that I had left at my parents house and so I finally had the time to go through them. I decided which ones I wanted to keep and which ones I wanted to unhaul and so now all of the ones that I'm deciding to keep have also found their new home in this office space. So let me give you a quick little tour of what the office looks like now. Okay, so this is what the corner space of the office is looking like now. Isn't it so adorable? I love how um, up here behind the TV we have a little you know Taylor Swift moment happening on the wall with we finally hung up uh, her records. Also look at this calendar that my sister made. This is her little, um, she made like an eras, like a Taylor Swift eras calendar. And so this is going to be for next year. We already put it up though, <laughs> but this is going to be for starting next year in 2024. She made these cute calendars. And so each month is a different like Taylor Swift era and she, you know, drew it all herself. It's amazing. I'll have her Etsy shop linked down below if you want to go and check those out. But anyways, uh, so this is the comfy chair that my mom ended up giving us. Honestly, looking at it on camera, it doesn't look like it would be that soft, but I really wish you could feel this chair because it is so comfortable and it is so like when you sit in it you just really sink into it and it's actually very soft i know the fabric doesn't look like it would be that soft on camera but i promise that it's a really cozy chair it's just like you sink into it and once you get into it it's hard to get out of you know because it's so comfortable but anyways um this is what the bookshelf is looking like it is quite a bit smaller than um some of the other bookshelves that i have in my room at least height wise we also decided to put the little tv on top of these shelves just because we had the little tv just like sitting around in here and we weren't really sure what to do with it but it's been really lovely to have in here actually because while me and rachel you know are working at our desks because my desk is over here and rachel's is over here it's nice because we can just put on like an ambiance video or something with sounds and just have that kind of playing in the background while we're, you know, working on our stuff. So I think that's been really nice actually to have the TV here. These are a lot of books that I have already read that I just didn't really have enough space for. We do have like most of my Stephen King books down here. These were all books that I had actually left at my parents' house. And so I do have quite the Stephen King collection still, even still after unhauling some things. And there are a few books in here that I still haven't read, like Joyland I haven't read and The Needful Things. I also do have my Heartstopper graphic novels down here. I originally did have these on my regular bookshelf, but they were taking up so much space that I decided to just move them into this room and I thought that would be easier. And then on this other shelf here, um, we decided to put the Taylor Swift you know, the little golden book on display just because of how freaking cute it is. Books behind. These are all books that are still on my TBR and these are books that I just didn't have a uh, space for in my room right now, but they're all books that I would like to get to as soon as I can. And then onto this next shelf, this is another mix of some books that I've read and some books that are still on my TBR. I mainly just have, you know, my copy of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is actually my ARC copy that I read back in like 2017. I still have it and I wanted to put it out on display just because I thought it was something that was really beautiful. And so behind it though, these are all books that I have not yet read. 
Um, the only one that I've read out of all of these is Forbidden. I don't really know why this one ended up here, if I'm being honest, but I just threw it in this stack, and these are all books that I still need to read, that I would still like to read. Um, so these are all going on my TBR that I eventually want to get to. Like, I eventually want to get to all of these books. And then coming up to this last shelf, um, these are all just another, you know, more mix of books. Um, some of these that I have read, like I've read these ones here, and then I haven't read these two. And then these ones are all books that I was, you know, I was originally planning on unhauling these actually, but then I decided maybe one day I'll give them a shot. So I decided to keep these three after my last unhaul video that I did. So I I just have them here. We also have, you know, the little Taylor Swift eras thing that came with the VIP thing. We just have this sitting on display. And then this looks like it's a latte, but it's actually a candle. I'm kind of obsessed with this corner. It's feeling very cozy. Hello and welcome to my closet. So it's about that time of year again where I really like to go through my closet every season. So just a couple times a year where I just go through my closet and I like to see what I can get rid of, you know, because I feel like a lot of times my wardrobe these days is changing more and more. I'm getting more comfortable with letting go of clothes that I just don't really wear anymore. And I also love the opportunity to go and like go thrift shopping, like go to Value Village and like find good, you know, cheap new clothes. Like it just makes me really excited. I really like now that I have, you know, this new closet in this new apartment, what I've been really liking to do is that I really like to put the clothes right here that I'm like wearing most often because this is like the first thing that I see, you know, when I walk into my closet. But then I do have all of the space against this back wall now. And so what I've been doing is that every season that like my clothes change, you know, because in the summertime, I tend to wear a lot more, you know, like cropped shirts or like shirts that are smaller because it's so freaking hot outside. And so I end up moving all of my like, you know, my plaid shirts and a lot of my crew necks end up going to the back. And so now that it's becoming fall time again, I would like to, you know, switch it out so that I have a lot more of my fall clothes right here when I first walk in and I'm gonna be moving a lot of my summer clothes to the back of the closet. And you might be wondering like, yeah, it's only mid-September right now and like maybe it is a little bit too soon to be doing this because it's still supposed to be like 70, 80 degrees for most of this week. But honestly, Washington is pretty known for like, we get a good fall in Washington, you know, like the temperatures really start to drop by like the end of September, early October. So like, why not be ahead of the game, you know? And maybe by doing this, I can just manifest the fall vibes happening even sooner. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be moving all of my summer clothes to the back of the closet. I'm also going to be going through a lot of my clothes and figuring out what I can get rid of. Because, you know, like I said, there's a lot of clothes in here that sometimes I just, I have to be real with myself and be like, okay, really, when was the last time you even wore that? And I also feel like if there were some summer clothes in here that I never even wore that much during the summer, then it's like clearly that's something I can get rid of, right? Because like if I'm not even wearing it during the season where I'd want to be wearing it the most, then I'm probably never going to be wearing it. You know what I'm saying? So like why, why let it take up closet space when I could potentially use that space to find something else? I realized I don't really know where is a good place in your closet to put like hats and like beanies because when I was going through all of my stuff like I have so many different hats and beanies and like granted I don't really wear hats or beanies like super often anymore I mean I definitely wear beanies a lot more often in the fall time so I'm definitely gonna be making a comeback with these beanies but I was just wondering if you do have a lot of like hats or beanies in your closet then like where do you put them do you have like a specific shelf that's like dedicated or like a specific area or maybe be like a drawer that you put your hats and your beanies in because I just never know where to put these. So what I ended up doing for now is I cleared off this whole shelf space up here because I used to have a lot of this stuff just kind of like sitting right here. So I wanted to put them up there and then I have, you know, other like closet storage kind of stuff, just like older stuff. And so I ended up moving that from right here so that hopefully now I can just put all my hats and my beanies here for now. And maybe it'll like remind me to like actually wear them more often because I'll see them now as soon as I come into the closet, you know, or at least that's the hope.
now I thought would be the perfect time to talk about some seasonal favorites. These were mostly favorites that I had during the summer. So I'm going to be talking about movies, TV shows, some different clothes, some drinks, different things like that. I'm going to be starting with the movies because, um, I mean, hello, Barbie came out this summer and Barbie is definitely one of my top favorite, if not my favorite movie that I've seen this year. I actually ended up seeing this movie twice in theaters. I saw it once with my sister and then once with my friend Brittany. And the second time that I saw this movie, I was so emotional. Like the first time that I was watching it, I was just kind of like amazed and just kind of fascinated and I had no idea like really what the story was even about or like where it was going. And then the second time that I saw this movie, I was just like crying the entire time that I was watching it. I feel like this is one of those incredible like female empowerment movies that just makes you feel good. And I just loved it so much. And I thought Margot Robbie was great. I thought Ryan Gosling was great. I adore them both so much as actors. So to like see them even in the same movie was just such a dream come true. And I absolutely loved Barbie. Highly recommend. I think it's so worth the hype. And then I finally saw Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is the sequel to the first animated Spider-Man movie. And it's wild because I think the first Spider-Man animated movie, like I've always considered that like my favorite Spider-Man movie because of how much I loved it. I think it ended up being like my number one or my number two favorite movie of 2018 when it came out. And I think it's so wild to say that I think this sequel is just as good, if not even better than that first Spider-Man movie. Like, I don't know how they keep doing this, but these movies are so good. I love the animation style. I love the characters so much. I love the comedy. Like, these are some of the funniest animated movies that I've ever seen in my life. Like, every minute I'm just, like, cracking up laughing. And not to mention the freaking soundtrack. Oh my god, the soundtrack? I've been obsessed with the soundtrack this whole summer. You'll probably see a song from this one pop up in my music faves because like I just love this movie so much. I love these characters. Oh my gosh, the way that I cried in this movie. And I can't believe they kind of end this movie on a major cliffhanger. So I am just like desperately waiting for this next movie. I also ended up watching the movie No Hard Feelings with my sister. This was a comedy movie that honestly surprised the heck out of me because after seeing the trailers, I wasn't even sure if this was something that I wanted to watch because I was like, oh my god, that looks like the most basic generic comedy that shows all the funny parts in the trailer. But honestly, it was a movie that was so, like, it had so much heart and it was so wholesome and it was so, like, genuinely funny in a way that I wasn't expecting. I think Jennifer Lawrence is so great in this movie and she's such a standout. I feel like, to me, this this is a movie that felt like it could have come out in like 2010 or like 2011, like back when comedy movies were still all the rage, you know? I feel like I just miss uh, getting comedy movies like this because I feel like we don't really get comedy movies like this anymore, so it really felt like a blast from the past. I had a great time with this movie and I was surprised by how much heart this movie ended up having and I ended up really caring about these characters, you know, for like such a premise that seems like so dumb, like they're gonna hire this girl to like date their son because he's such a loser. But it ends up being such a cute and like wholesome movie and I actually really liked their friendship as it was growing. Like, I don't know, it was really cute. I had a great time with it. And then we had Red, White, and Royal Blue, the movie, which I did end up doing a whole Patreon like movie night watch party when I watched this for the first time and it was so amazing. And this movie went like above and beyond my expectations. I just personally loved it so much. Like, is this a five star movie? No, but did I give it five stars? Yes. And that's just mostly because of the feelings that I got while watching this movie. Movie, it really brought back all of those same feelings that I had while reading the book. I feel like these two actors had such great chemistry. Like they were so fucking cute. They just really brought these characters to life in the most beautiful way. And I just loved it so much. I had so much fun with it. I gave it five out of five stars. I know it's not tech, like critically speaking, it's not that great of a film, but I just loved it so much that I don't care. And then I finally watched the movie Broker, which this is a Korean film that I've been wanting to see for such a long time, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere on streaming, but Hulu finally uploaded it recently. And so me and my sister watched it, and this one was so freaking good. This one has the same lead actor as the dad in Parasite, like the same lead actor in Parasite, and this director is really well known in Korea for being, you know, something special. So I just really was dying to see this film, and I'm so glad that I did because this is another one of those movies where it just has so much heart. I feel like this is a really interesting story because you're learning about these people who are kind of like selling babies. They're kind of like taking babies that are unwanted from their mothers and then selling them. I really love the like found family aspect of this movie. It was just really heartwarming and it just like, ugh. This movie is one of those movies that just like sinks its claws into you and just tugs at your heartstrings and it was really beautiful and it was so well done. By the end of the movie, I just ended up caring about these characters so much that it like nearly 
really brought me to tears. And then another movie that I also really loved was Joyride. Oh, Joyride. This was a comedy that was very refreshing. It's kind of like Girls Trip. It's kind of like Bridesmaids where we follow a group of women who are all going to be traveling together. I love that we're following this, you know, Asian American woman who's going to be traveling back to China for the first time. And, you know, her family's originally from China. And so she's starting to feel connected to like, you know, where she came from. And then I also absolutely loved all of the um, K-pop and the BTS references in this movie because there's a character in particular in this movie who's a huge BTS fan. So I thought that was so cute and it just like elevated the movie for me because I understood so many of the like K-pop references and it was so cute. And I just thought this friendship group was so funny. I feel like this was a really solid group of women. I thought they were all very entertaining. I also feel like this is a movie that could have come out so many years ago. You know, it makes me so happy to watch comedy movies like this. And I just hope we get more comedy movies like this going forward because I do miss it. I really do. As far as TV shows go, I haven't been watching too many TV shows recently. That's mostly due to the fact that um, me and my sister are currently catching up on Big Brother, which is a reality TV competition show that we've been watching like since we were kids. But we've been really behind on the new season of Big Brother. So we started it a few nights ago and we've just been binging those episodes every night. Like we're almost completely caught up. And I've really been loving Big Brother this season as always. Like I just think Big Brother is so much fun. It's so entertaining and so addicting. But one show that I've been starting to get into is this new K-drama called King the Land. And this is one that I've been watching. I actually downloaded all of the episodes to my phone when I flew to Japan because I wanted to have something to watch on the airplane. But then I didn't really end up watching too much when I was on the airplane because I was trying to sleep the whole time because I was so tired and then I couldn't sleep. But I did end up getting through about four episodes of King the Land while traveling. And King the Land has been so cute. I just, I really adore the show so much. I feel like it's my new K-drama, you know, like the new one that I'm gonna get obsessed with. Because I just think both the lead female and the lead male actors, like they're so freaking precious and they're so cute. And I love the like setup of like them both working in the hotel together. Like I think the hotel setting is very fun. And then also the spy family anime. I've finally gotten into the Spy Family anime and I have been so obsessed because I'm really into the Spy Family manga and I knew that like once I got sucked into the anime that it was gonna become so addicting and it is. And I wanna say I'm like maybe nine or 10 episodes into the anime and they're so cute. They're just like 20 to 30 minute episodes and I feel like the anime is so well done and it's so true to the manga. Like it really reads just like the manga does and the characters are just so, so adorable. And I really think if you're like looking to maybe try to get into anime or try to get into manga. I just think Spy Family is like the perfect thing that I would recommend to try and get into it just because I think Spy Family is so universally loved by a lot of people and they're just so cute. Like these characters are so cute and they're so wholesome. Gosh, I'm literally sitting here editing this vlog and I realized I forgot to mention Heartstopper season two. Like, hello? I think it's because I, you know, I finished all the entirety of Heartstopper season two in one night. Like me and my sister, we just binge watched the whole thing in one night and it was absolutely incredible and life-changing and so good and like how could I forget Heartstopper? Like that's enough of a reason for me to get canceled off of the internet right there. I'm so sorry. As far as like drinks go that I've been really into lately, uh, Starbucks has this new drink for their fall menu that's called an iced pumpkin chai latte. And it's so good because it's basically a chai latte and like chai is like a, ch chai is tea if you didn't know. It's a chai tea latte. The like iced pumpkin cream foam, they just put that on top of a chai latte and it is so freaking good. It is life changing. And so I've really been enjoying that drink that's part of their fall menu this year and I really hope they keep it because I'm obsessed. But then I also, I recently did try the uh, chocolate cookie crumble cream frap that Starbucks has now delicious. Like it was so good. It kind of reminded me of their double chocolatey chip frap that they used to have. Maybe they still have it. Maybe it's the same thing and they just changed the name. I'm not totally sure, but I've been loving that chocolate cookie crumble cream frap. I think it's delicious, especially if you're somebody who doesn't really drink coffee. I think that one's a good substitute because I don't think that one has any coffee in it. And then as far as like some clothing items go that I thought I would show you, not that I'm like a really big fashion person or anything, but I thought I would show you a few different things that I've gotten somewhat recently that I've been really obsessed with. The first thing are these uh, Fila sneaker shoes that I found at a thrift store recently. And then they have these straps that you just like tighten the shoes with these straps and they go around like that and you tighten them. But I just love, they're kind of like bulky, chunky, 
white sneakers. I don't know, I really have a thing for white sneakers. If sneakers are white, I am more likely to want to buy them and wear them because for some reason I'm just obsessed with wearing white sneakers on my feet. And so I've been absolutely loving these. They've been so cute. I got them for like $12 at the thrift store and honestly, like what a find, right? They're so cute. Also been loving these new pants that I got. These are pants that I literally got at our local town fair because they have all of these different kinds of tents where you can do different kinds of shopping at the local fair and these are pants that I found at the local fair so it's kind of weird because I can't like link you or anything but I just think these are so cute they're kind of like they're kind of like a gray you know baggy kind of well they're not super baggy because they have these little strings at the bottom where you can like tighten the ankles as tight as you want which I really like I wish more pants had this feature and they're just really cute they have these pockets here on the sides I don't know are these just so cute I've been obsessed with these I actually I took these to Japan with me I've been t I've been wearing them like literally everywhere that I go and I really want to make this more of like my fashion style you know I'm like why am I still wearing jeans so often like I don't really even like jeans that much I want to completely scrap my whole wardrobe and fill it with stuff like this you know because I love these and then one of the other clothing items that I have is this rep shirt actually that I got so I ended up getting this in July for my Taylor Swift concert specifically I ended up getting this one off of Etsy which I love you know like I love the way that this shirt turned out I think it's just so freaking cute but also something that I loved that I did with this shirt because when I bought this shirt it was like a really long shirt that went almost like down to my knees and I was like what the heck it's way too long and so I literally took the chance and I just cut the shirt into a crop myself. I did it myself with my sister. Like, I don't know what, we just kind of like went for it. I was like, fuck it. Because I knew that the concert in July, it was going to be really hot outside. And I didn't want a shirt that was like really long and baggy and just like too much. So we just ended up cutting it ourselves and I made it into like a crop and I feel like I made it into like a little bit of an oversized crop so it's not like too short because my high-waisted pants still kind of come up to here but isn't it so cute like I like it even better as a cropped shirt and I just like I don't know I'm so obsessed with this like I'm so glad that I ended up doing this so I will have the um Etsy shop linked down below that I bought this rep shirt from but do keep in mind that I did cut it myself into a crop which you also totally can do as well okay and then as far as new music goes that I've been into lately. So Post Malone dropped an album in July called Austin and I have been absolutely obsessed with this album. Like this album has been on repeat ever since he dropped it. And I think my favorite song on this whole album is Too Cool to Die. I mean either that one or Chemical if we're talking about like the singles as well. I really love all of the singles that dropped off of this album like Chemical and Morning and Overdrive is definitely one of my top favorites on this album as well. Like oh there's so many good ones. Also really been obsessed with the song Self Love by Metro Boomin and Coil Ray and this is one that's from the Spider-Man soundtrack. This song has been on repeat since I saw the movie this summer. Like I've just been absolutely obsessed with it and so I really really love this song. Of course you know we have Taylor Swift drop Speak Now in the month of July and ever since then I've been obsessed with Electric Touch and I Can See You. It's so crazy. I was looking at my Spotify stats and it looks like Electric Touch might be like my most played Taylor Swift song ever. Like it's showing that it's like ranking higher than everything else on my all time charts. And I'm like, what is going on? So I know that Electric Touch is not everybody's favorite, but it is my favorite. Like I am obsessed with Electric Touch. I don't know what it is. I've also really been liking, you know, Selena's new song, Single Soon, that I think is so cute. I've really been into um, Nicki Minaj as well. She has a new song called Last Time I Saw You. I love the new Nicki Minaj song and I'm so looking forward to, she has an album coming out in November I think. I'm really excited for that. I've also really been into um there's this girl k-pop group that I discovered called Black Swan and I've been really obsessed with their song that's called Cat and Mouse and this girl group is so good. They're probably like my favorite female k-pop group that I've discovered so far and I've just been really enjoying a lot of their music. So yeah those are a lot of my different you know favorite things that I've been listening to lately that I've been watching and that I've been wearing and drinking. I do so often get to talk about like books and manga and things like that that I'm loving but now I don't really have a place on my channel to talk about like movies and TV shows and different other things that I'm loving as well so I do like being able to have a space to talk about them here. You'll have to let me know if you've also been listening to any of the same music or watching the same movies or TV shows and what you think of them. I would also love to know of any seasonal favorites that you have or anything that you would recommend to me that you think I would enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video as always. I would love to know if you are still enjoying these reset videos and if you would like to see me continue 
continue to do more of them in the future. I feel like the next one that I would do would maybe be around like New Year's time, you know, it'd be like a New Year reset. I think that would be pretty fun. So yeah, thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.